Hey everyone, it's Lisa and today is Saturday and I'm back to do my Nordstrom video. This is gonna be a Nordstrom haul and I've got some really exciting things that I got. And then a couple of things I repurchased and then I was gonna like maybe tell you a few favorites and stuff too. Today's video is in collaboration with Nordstrom. You guys know I love Nordstrom and I have really enjoyed the Nordstrom card. I purchased or I got the Nordstrom card so that I could do the points to shop the sale early. I don't like credit cards. I don't have any. I think this is my only credit card that I have like that. And But I love getting those notes. Like for this order, I think I had, I think I had like 40 or $60 off. So every time you order, you get more and all I do is just pay it right off. It's connected right to my bank account. So all you have to do is just pay it off if you don't want to have a balance. And that way you're gonna get, you know, good access to the sales. We get like double points some days. It's really good. So I have enjoyed it. I have nothing negative to say about the whole Nordstrom card experience. So today I ordered, I chose whatever I wanted and I paid for everything myself. And I was so excited to see that they had new Chanel lip liners. So that is probably gonna be the star of the game today. I haven't used them yet because I wanted to try them with you first, but I have swatched them on my hand and I was so excited. So what I did is I picked some of my favorite nude lipsticks, like some different formulas and different you know, brands, and so I thought we would give some of these a try. And then um, I'll go ahead and tell you about some repurchases. The Lancome Art Liner. This thing is just so good. I have used it for so many years, way before YouTube. And even my mom, I can remember my mom loving the color, I think it was called Carob. It was kind of like a reddy brown, kind of, I think it might have had a little bit of shimmer in it and it wasn't very dark. So you could really, you know, just get a little emphasis at the lash line, but you know, it washes off so easy. It's just such a good liner. And what I love about it, to me, it just works well with my eye shape because I need something long like this to really get down into, you know, like, right down there and then I can get real close to my lashes and my favorite thing about it, I feel like I can do my best wings with this liner. I put it right there and then I just flick it out and then bring it back and the way it bends, like a lot of the pins that are long like this, I like them but they're gonna give you more of that straight wing. This one kinda of goes with your eyelid and creates that swoop. This is a repurchase for the third time. I'm trying to get my shade right, and I think I have finally done it. I have ordered the five, and then I think my last one I ordered was the seven. So I ordered um, the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Foundation. And I apologize, sometimes I hold up a product and I don't tell you what it is, and it's kind of a mistake in my mind because I feel like I feel like we're friends and I have already told you about things and I forget about the fact that you could have skipped a video or you could be watching me for the first time. So I'm bad about um, thinking you know what I'm talking about. So sorry if I do that, but this is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Foundation. Stays all day and night. This is just so good. The coverage is just amazing, yet it's not one that, you know, it's like a mask, like you're putting on a mask and you have to like blend the heck out of it to even get it to go into your hairline. It's not like that. It would be great if you wanted to mix it with like Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk or something that needs a little bit more coverage and staying power. And this is the one that I wore I have it on today with the Chanel Loose Powder. I wore this and that, and that two days in a row, and John, out of the blue, when he came to talk to me, told me one day was in the car leaving, so that was natural daylight, and the next time it was upstairs at my desk. Both times he said, your makeup looks really good. What'd you do different? And I was wearing this and that Chanel powder. So it's just a great combination. It is a makeup look. I mean, you can look at me today and tell I have makeup on, but it's just pretty. You know what I mean? It just looks polished and put together and soft. Doing a little something different with my hair today. And 
it's because in my video yesterday I didn't like how it's like my hair was just like on my nerves so I've seen other people do this it's kind of a throwback to is it the 70s when we used to put one maybe 80s 70s and 80s when you used to put one side back and then really wing or roll that other one or feather it back I remember doing that I had one of those round you know uh, curling irons and I would just do like that and feather it back and do like that and feather it back and then I would get a good feather and then I would spray it. <laughs> and you could literally lift up the whole feather. That is so funny. So let's go over first what I got and then we will, gosh, and I see right now something I got that I didn't even try today. I had this out here. It is the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Vanish Under Eye Face Cheat for Intense Color Correction. Okay, I don't think I've even opened it yet. Let's see if it opens from the bottom. I have seen this in several favorites videos. So I decided to purchase it because I love Charlotte Tilbury products. And it comes in a little baby. Oh my gosh, that's so cute because it looks like the little baby powder that I love so much. And again, we are looking for something fabulous. Oh my gosh, I think I'm gonna love that. Perfect shade, not too orangey. I mean, these shades, to me are like a corrector and a little bit of a concealer. So I'm going very creamy. I don't have to like really p press my finger in there. Love it. And then it gives you a color correction. So I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I didn't put anything over. I used Nard Cu NARS Custard today. Um, so what do we think? Did that brighten in there? can always use a little extra right here because my eyes are deep set so I have that darkness wow okay I'm all you know me okay and because I have that my cheeks just naturally go like that I'm gonna put a little bit right there and get that redness so what do you think? Okay, so that I think we are gonna love. So glad I purchased that and I want to probably put it over there. Okay, I have so much good stuff. Let's see, I've already, like I said, unboxed some of these. This is something, what is this? Okay, yeah, this is a repurchase. This is the Hourglass Veil, something I have just used time and time again. I was tempted to get the big one, but this one really lasts a long time and to me, like in fragrance and a lot of things. I like the small ones because then you can just keep them fresh. And I use different, you know, different primers. But this is, this is the one that Susan said she used under her Armani. And um, so it has, that's two pumps, which is way too much for this space that I just did. But I just wanted to demonstrate. It has kind of like that, like a blurring, feeling and a blurring effect with its, I'll show you, I'm gonna spread it out on my hand. It kind of reduces your redness and gives you that soft feeling. See how you can see the difference there? So it is just really good. And I looked for mine, I thought I had one left, like maybe even a small sample size and I couldn't find it. Maybe I used it all and I've been cleaning out like crazy, so I ordered another one of those. I ordered this in the past, but I forgot to show it to you. This is a new product for me. I haven't used it, so we may use it today. I wanna get into the lip liners first because I may need this since I brought out kind of light nudes. But this is the Tata Harper Cheek Tint, and it's in very popular. And this is the one where I was watching a makeup artist that I had never watched before. I cannot remember. I think she's maybe a big Instagram makeup artist. And she was doing a model that had my coloring, which you would think, I feel like I'm very kind of like basic coloring, but on YouTube, there's not a lot of blonde hair, blue eyes. And when you have that coloring, you can't wear a lot of what 
people with dark hair and even people with blonde hair and brown eyes can wear. So um, as soon as I see somebody like that, I am just like all about them because I like to see what they're using. And she used this in on the lips and on the cheeks. And it was actually in this color. There's several different shades. And so let's see what this looks like. I haven't even taken it out. Perfect shade. It made the model's lips look gorgeous. So um, right now, let's go ahead and put a little bit on my cheeks. Okay, very emollient, not dry or any, you know, hard to get. I hate things that are in a pot and you have to like really get in, into them. Okay, I'm gonna take a little bit off on the back of my hand to try to avoid a uh, snafu here. Okay, I feel pretty, pretty, um, use a different finger, feel pretty safe now that it's not gonna be too crazy. That is beautiful. Look at that. Did, I hope that you can see like the glow that it gave. Okay, so can you see the difference? I think a good blush, good natural, not crazy loud blush right up on your cheek and the back like that really like rounds out your cheeks. Okay, you can remember that's the dimple from my motorcycle accident. Not that I was on a motorcycle, but I got hit by a green Kawasaki. <laughs> and there's nothing I can do about that. I have filled it with filler before and it just moves. I think it's probably got something to do with like scar tissue or something. But wow, love that. Okay, so I'm gonna keep this separate in case we wanna use it for lips. I saw this and I was intrigued. I love Burberry makeup and I'm so grateful and thankful for this job and this hobby and this fabulous life and for all of you guys that I get to try all of this stuff. But the one little bitty downfall, it's not a downfall, is sometimes I forget things that I love so much. Sometimes I even go back and watch my own videos so that I can remember techniques and things that I used to love because I always want to kind of stay fresh for you guys and try new things and but so sometimes I'll forget some of my old things that was all going to the fact that I love Burberry makeup and some of my favorite things are their contour sticks they're unlike anything else they're I don't know if they have like a a wax or something in them but when you do that stripe you can blend it out like so easy and it doesn't blend all over your face. It's not too emollient, they're just awesome. So I saw these and I love their eye sticks. So I saw these and I thought, I wanna give that a try. And it is the Lip Color Contour. I got the number three medium. So there are four colors and they're, you know, they're kind of different, you know what I mean? Like it's not like it's four different variations of the same shade, they're different. And I chose the number three medium. Okay, Lip Color Contour is a nude pen to prime contour and shape for naturally fuller looking lips. Inspired by backstage makeup techniques, Lip Color Contour adds a soft shadow to the lip line, instantly creating an illusion of fuller, more plumped lips. Designed with a dome tip for easy application, the pen also acts as a lip primer to smooth and soften before applying color or can be worn alone for a natural looking nude lip. Its creamy weightless formula delivers up to six hours of moisture for comfortable and long lasting wear. Okay, um, application tips, let me read this. Prime, before adding, applying your lip color, line the outer edges of your lip with your lip color contour and then completely fill in. Slightly soften the color at the lip line to create a subtle shadow and appearance of and a fuller appearance. Uh, create a soft contoured look by applying the lip color contour lightly at the edges of your lip, both top and bottom. Blend well with fingertip for an undetectable finish. Color line the outer edges of your lip and then apply the lips for a natural nude look. Okay, hmm, what should we do here? Let's start off by removing the lip Sarah Hap and loving these little Q-tip things that I got the other day. They are not so fuzzy. And I will say, when you don't have lip filler in your lips, it is easier to overline. 
I have realized that because when you have lip filler in your lips, it's there's like so much of a like a ridge right there that it's hard to get it. You have to almost do this side or that side. But when your lips are like really kind of flat right there, it's easier to overline. And I don't know, there's a weird thing. It's almost gives you a fuller appearance. Your lips look bigger if you're able to overline. If they're just plump, I mean, definitely they look full, but they aren't as big on your face. So that's something, that's just a little food for thought there <laughs> from the crazy mind of Lisa. Okay, so we're gonna do this one first. I'll tell you what we're gonna do. I bought it thinking it was a, gonna just go around the edges. So that's what we're gonna do first and then maybe we'll go from there. So I am going to just go around. Ooh, that's pretty already. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna do half of my lip, top and bottom, okay? Isn't that amazing? I mean, look at the difference. That is crazy. That is amazing. Okay, I'm gonna have to go take a picture of this. I'll be right back. <laughs> and now we're gonna do the rest of it. And it's very easy because you know what it's doing is it's because it's not so pointed and it comes off so easily, it is not, I'm not having to like be so daggone steady. Like sometimes my lips are uneven, most people's are anyway. Like you can see, see how much rounder this side is and that one goes straight up. I'm going to continue and try to shut up. I hate that. I don't even like that word shut up. I don't like it when anybody says that, so I won't say it. That is amazing. I hate to even ruin this. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna use one of my really, the lightest lipstick is what we're gonna use with this, just to see how it looks. Okay, you gotta get it. Don't even have to tell you how much I like that. Okay, so one of the lightest lipsticks that I was thinking that I like, I was thinking of what lipsticks can these lip liners make possible and more wearable. I had to just wipe that off because it had lip liner on it. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Kim KW. See, amazing. If you get that lip contour right, it makes almost everything possible. And take advantage of the trend today where it's a little bit darker, the lip liner's a little bit darker. We're going kind of back to the 90s supermodel. Look at like Naomi Campbell. She's the greatest at her makeup and her look. And that is her lip look. That is amazing. I think, so this would be a good combo to get, absolutely. You guys, I don't even want to take that. Look at that Burberry. I can't even remember how many reviews or I just stumbled upon it. Because I was thinking, how much I love the lipstick English Rose, and I brought that out here. But see how it's still, even when I wiped that off, because I have that good lip line now, it's all, it's all magic from here. Everything's probably gonna look good. Okay, so let's go to something totally different. And I ordered this knowing that it might not be for me. It might be too light and too bright, but I know a lot of you like lip liners like this and making sure my record is still on. And do you remember a long time ago, I did that Yolanda Foster look where you do a light um, lip liner and then you do a, anyway, sometimes you can make that work. So the first lip liner, these are new from Chanel and it's been a long time since Chanel has come out with a whole new set of new lip liners. And oh, this is so exciting to me. I guess Chanel's just, it's, it's in my heart. So this is the 154 Peachy Nude. And I knew when I looked at it online, it was probably gonna be too light for me, but I knew a lot of you may like it. And I thought maybe this will work with some of my, you know, like 
what is the one that I used to use with that? It was a NARS. I don't even know if they make it anymore. It was um, Barbarella maybe or something. So I think I brought out a really light color. That might have been why I brought out Kim KW. Anyway, let's go from here. So we're going to use this over and um, see how it goes here. It might cover that that I've already done. So it gives you just a little bit of brightness. I'm gonna do the bottom again too. Look at the pigment. So that is half. So pretty. Okay, I'm gonna do the rest. And that is pretty. Sometimes I don't like if they're too light because I feel like it's not a good a good accent, but I think that is gorgeous. Hey, I've got a winner. This is the Cream Sheen Japanese Maple by MAC. It is very light. Let's swatch it beside. But it has a good, like, sheen. It's one of my favorite MAC nudes. And then I brought out Buxom Celeste because a lot of times colors like this may need a little bit of life. So we're going to... Beautiful. This is exactly what I was thinking. Okay, I'm doing this for all of you girls that love this light. Boy, this is a throwback. Okay, so this is a look on its own. Beautiful, beautiful. And then we're going to put just a little bit right there and then that is your light lip peachy nude lip color the other colors that I got are um, hmm it's 164 I'm sure it's like a French word I will leave that right here so you can I'll put it down below but I think I remember this was one that had a little bit more color let's go ahead and swatch it beside that one yes Oh, so excited for that one. The next one I got is number 162, Nude Brown. And they do come with the Chanel lip liner, I mean, lip liner sharpener. And, okay, this one, I love it. It's just a nude brown. And it doesn't have too much. It reminds me a lot of Lancome Ideal. It doesn't have too much orange in it it's not too dark and you can see how well it just went right on and then the other one i got is beige natural it is one of the lighter tones kind of like the peachy color but just a little bit more to it so what should we do i guess we should probably do this next and work our way up to the darkest because i don't want to stain my lips any more than i have to okay so what we're going to do is let's do half of my lip with the beige natural and don't panic a lot of the other colors that we still love are still there they're just a new formula beautiful very similar to the the Burberry that good color that just accents the edge of your lip So there's half done. So you can see the difference. And you guys know, lip liners are my favorite product. Let's do the, um, the Estee Lauder, because I think this one's pretty nude. Oh, this is the Color Envy Matte Covetous Nude. Okay, it's still a good one. I just forgot it was matte. Isn't that gorgeous? Sorry, I know I'm going to say the same. Somebody said I should make a drinking game. How many times I said pretty in my last video. And I know I do that, but it's just how I feel. I think that is gorgeous. I think it is a really wearable nude lip combo. But we can always put a little bit of Buxom Celeste on it. And... 
bring it to life. Next one I want to use would be the next darkest one would, would be the Nude Brown. And I think this might be a good one to go with the Adrian. Perfect. So there is just half and half. so pretty. Let's use, do we want to use Adrian, the Rouge Cocoa? Let me wipe it off. Yeah, perfect. See how I'm going a little bit over that lip line too? And then you work it all in. That is, that's a good statement lip without being too loud or too red. I'm gonna have to take a picture of this too. I'll be right back. This one I'm gonna do something a little different because I want to use that Tata Harper for the last thing that I do. So I'm gonna blot this off. We can see that that lip liner is gonna stay. And then let's try, this is a, one of my favorite lipsticks. I wanted to make sure I used it because I haven't worn it lately and it's, I, it's such a good one. It is the English Rose from Burberry. So let's see what this does. Isn't that pretty? So this makes it a little bit softer. So you could put that on and then take this with you and have a different look, a little pink look for the end of the day. Such a good one. I tried to put on like a light lipstick and then blot it so I could get some of the red out of my lips. But this is the last one. If I had to say it would be Pivone. Pivone? I wouldn't say it would be Pivone. <laughs> Pivone. Okay, so this is probably the closest to like a nude, the typical nude from Chanel that I used to use. I don't know, that's probably still there, but. And because it's darker, I'm going lighter with my application. Like that. Okay, and it looks pretty dark. So what I'm going to do when that happens and I want it to be a little bit softer, I just blot all around my lip like that. Okay, now we're gonna try this Tata Harper cheek tint that the girl put on her lips and it was just out of this world. Oh, that is pretty. That is so pretty. Okay, and this, it's so, it doesn't feel like, I don't know, sometimes cheek tints, when you put them on your lips, they feel dry or weird, like they're not supposed to be there, but it feels good. Like you can blend in your lip liner with it. And that is, that color is just gorgeous, but there are other shades of this. Okay, so I'm gonna end it there with the lip swatches. Okay, this top that I have on is one of those that I love. It's one of the layering tees. It's from BP. And then this is the Ponte Knit Jacket that I got from Nordstrom, the Nordstrom sale actually a couple of years ago, but they do have another one that's like this. And then I've got on my Zella leggings that are my favorite. And then today I'm wearing my Fendi sneakers, which I think, oh, they just make every outfit just to be so comfortable, they just really add a lot. And it's hot out today, so I don't know if I'll be able to keep this jacket on, but I'm just actually running out for a few minutes and then coming back, so it's no big deal. And who is this? That's Tati. Let me see if I can get her, hold on. Say hey, look at that little face. Look at that little face. And then look at, I hope you can see, 
if you can see the back of her legs are like true calico. Where does, let me see the other one. Oops, that's rude, mommy. Okay, put you down. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed this. I really did. Lip liners are some of my favorite things, and I was really, really happy with some of those lip combos and I hope you were. I hope I gave you some ideas and thank you to you for being here. I appreciate you guys so much. This is, I look forward to this. I was so excited to do this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and follow me on Instagram and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.